and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to plot a function. There's a function plotter under extensions render and I ran into some problems when I used it. Let me show you how I solve these. Generally you've got the use function that explains it a little bit and right next to it the functions that you can use. But at first we need a rectangle. So this step is crucial. Let me give it a fill for now. You can see it's black. You want to have a stroke and you can get rid of the fill. So I hold shift, click on the black color to have a stroke and then I click on the X. Under object fill and stroke, you should set the width to a size that you want to have for your function. So I'll keep that to one millimeter. Make sure your rectangle is selected. Now use the function plot. And under range and sampling, we've got a lot of options. And let me check the live view and you can directly see the rectangle is replaced because I've checked this box. And I've got axes, so the y and x axis already added because I've checked this box. For the most part, you want to do that as well. The function itself, make sure that you add the factors. So when you want to multiply something, you need to type that in. Just leaving it empty, which you can do in the function itself, doesn't work for the function plotter. So you have to type it in. Otherwise you get this warning message. Let me adjust some numbers and you can see it's rendered in real time. The x value for start and end. The start you can see on the left hand side. Let me make that bigger. And now it goes to minus 2. And on the right hand side you can see the end. So when I put that to 3, it exceeds the size of this canvas. Let me add something to the Y bottom. So I go in minus range. So minus 2 should be fine here. And I go to 12 up here. The number of samples is important. Let me go down to, I don't know, 8, and you can see it gets wobbly. So this is like the number of calculations that is used to draw this path. Even with 100, you can see that it's still a little bit shaky. When you go to 300, for example, it's very smooth. There are some other options. For the most part, you don't need that. For example, the isotropic scaling. Or the use of polar coordinates, but it's there if you might need it. The function is the most important part, so once again keep in mind that you have to type in these multiplicator signs. And if you need more information about the functions available, you can read it right here. If you want to continue working on it, select it all, then go to path and break apart. So now you've got them all as individual elements. And you can go to your fill and stroke an object, for example, add a marker. The upper end is right here. So just add this sign and we've got it for the y axis. The x-axis again on the right hand side. It's the final one right here. Maybe you want to give your function a different color than the axis. You can now just select it because it's an individual element due to the breaker part. And then you can go to stroke paint, for example, make it red. And this is how you can plot a basic function in Inkscape. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.